Hi children. Today you are going to learn seventh class, eighth chapter. That is congruency of triangles in that exercise number eight point three. In this eight point three, mainly we will learn about the congruency rule of side side angle side angle. And sometimes we will also get a one more congruency of rule angle angle side angle angle side also. So there will be five congruency rules. You just remember that. One is side side side, okay. And the second one is angle angle side angle. And third one is side angle side. And fourth one is R H S. And fifth one is angle angle side. R H side angle angle. Both are same one, okay. Then. Here, this is the a special kind of criteria rule, and this will be overcomes. Will take, will derivate from the angle side angle only. From this only we derivate this criteria rule. Okay, whatever. Let us solve some problems so that you can understand. Here, let us see in this exercise number three. In first week, there are only four questions. Let us try to solve these all four questions now. Here, it is a. A B C triangle, and they have given a one P Q R triangle, P Q R triangle, where angle P equal to seventy degrees, angle Q equal to sixty degrees, and angle B equal to seventy degrees, and angle C equal to it is a sixty degrees, and A B equal to six point five centimeter, and where P R equal to six point five centimeters. Let us know that here either these two triangles are congruent or not. Okay, in the pair of triangles, find the pair of which are congruent. Find the pair which are congruent. Also write the criteria of congruence. Let us write which pair of triangles are congruent. Now let us take in triangle ABC we will observe, and also in the triangle PQR we will observe which are the corresponding sides are equal. As we given here, angle B equal to angle P. Angle B equal to angle P that equal to 70 degrees. It is an angle, and also angle C equal to angle Q. Angle C equal to angle Q that equal to 60 degrees. It is also an angle now. So we can say now here AB is equal to PR. AB is equal to PR that equal to 6.5 centimeter. It is a a corresponding side. Now therefore these two triangles ABC. Is congruent to triangle PQR. These two are congruent by which rule? Angle, angle side rule. Because this side is not included between the two sides. This side is not included between these two sides. What is the meaning of angle side angle? The side is included between two sides. The two angles, one included side of one triangle. Is equal to corresponding to the two angles included side of another triangle, and the two triangles are congruent by angle side angle criteria rule. Or else, if two angles one side of a first triangle is equal to corresponding to the two angles one side of a second triangle, and the two triangles are congruent by the angle angle side rule. Okay, you learned rules in the third. So now we go for the second. Question. Now I hear in the second question. Let us see. Here is given A, B, C, and D. Here it is 30 degrees, and here 20 degrees. Here 20 degrees and 30 degrees. Now it will be a common side. Now you see what triangle we have to take. Triangle ABD triangle you take it, children. ABD this one and Triangle BCD, triangle BCD you can take, or not CBD you can take, CBD triangle you take. Now you observe now what you can see, angle ABD, angle ABD is equal to that is 20 degrees now. Angle CDB, angle CDB that is equal to also 20 degrees and angle this. Next. This angle is completed. Now let's decide. Here BD is a common side. BD equal to BD. What is this? A common 
साइड नेक्स्ट यह एंगल ए डी बी एंगल ए डी बी इक्वल टू एंगल सी बी डी एंगल सी बी डी दैट इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्रीज अगेन इट इज एन एंगल एस वी कैन कंफर्म दैट दे फोर ट्रायंगल ए बी डी इज कॉन्ग्रेट टू ट्रायंगल सी बी डी बाय द रूल ऑफ नॉट योर साइड एंगल साइड रूल एंगल साइड एंगल साइड एंगल एंगल साइड एंगल एंगल साइड एंगल बाय दैट रूल वी कैन से दैट दिस गिवन टू ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन द थर्ड क्वेश्चन आल्सो विल बी सैटिस्फाइड इन द सेम रूल ऑफ एंगल एंगल साइड लेट अस सी दैट द थर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड लेटर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन थर्ड एंड फोर्थ क्वेश्चंस लेट्स गो फॉर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इन दिस रेट हियर Let us see. Is the triangle of angle O is here and B A it is a five point five centimeter and it is a sixty degrees an angle and here also it is a sixty degrees an angle and here it is a five point five centimeters and A B O C D O in these two angles. Let us see that now in triangle A O B. And triangle COD. In these two triangles, let us observe triangle ABOB and triangle COD. What here angle A equal to angle D that equal to 60 degrees an angle. Next angle O ABOB is equal to angle COD. They are vertically. Opposite angles, vertically opposite angles. Then here AB equal to CD. AB equal to CD. That equal to 5.5 centimeter. This is also a side. Now we can say these two triangles, triangle AOB is equal to is congruent to triangle COD. By the rule of angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, or side, angle, angle. However, you can say angle, angle, side. However, then we go for the fourth solution. See that they have given a two triangles here. Let us draw the two triangles with the given kind of measurements, as namely ABC and CD here. C For D E F, D E F. Then here has given a 70 degree angle, and here is a 50 degree angle, and here 50 degree angle and 70 degree angle. See that are these triangles are congruent or not? Once you look at this and tell me are these congruent uh, triangles are congruent or not? We cannot say now uh, we can't say that. The given triangles, triangles are congruent because because at least one side should be given. given to say the criteria rule to say the criterion rule of congruency triangles ante okka side kuda ivvaledu oka side isthe cheppevaru aa side ikkada unte angle side angle ani angle side angle ani criteria rule tho cheppevaru aa side ekkada unna sare Either side will be here or here or here. We can say the two triangles are congruent. Either side angle side if the side is included between the two ang two angles, or not if the side is here or here somewhere. Then we can say the two triangles are congruent by angle angle side. But 
not even at least one side is given in this question so we cannot say that the given triangles are congruent because at least one side should be given to say the criteria rule of congruency of triangles ok side ane ivvali apude manamu angle side angle side anedi aa rendu madhya angle rendu madhya unte adi side angle side angle ani leda side ante ekkada ichina gani angle angle side criteria rule toni aa rendu triangles congruent ani poodeyu kani ok side kuda ivvali gurtha manam aa triangles congruent ga kada ani cheppale so the fourth question answer will be like in the second bit in the second bit there will be two internal questions based on these triangles see there is a one triangle here on the bc side and there is a one more triangle here and e side let me draw here it is a a and it is d and this is b and this is c and it is a o here it is a 50 degrees angle and here also it is a 50 degrees angle here 30 degrees and here also by 30 degrees angle let us see that first question that in the adjacent figure our triangle abc and dcb are congruent abc and dcb are congruent or not is asked let us take in triangle here abc a triangle abc and triangle db yes dcb dcb now in triangle abc and triangle dcb in these two triangles let us observe the triangle dcb in these two triangles let us observe that so what we can be observe in these two triangles let us see first in these two triangles in a b c the angle c is what angle acb that is equal to in this triangle angle dbc angle b so angle dbc equal to 50 degrees angle next what can we say see that abc that means bc is coming dbc that means bc is coming so bc is a common side bc equal to bc it is a common side next what can we say here angle a equal to angle d angle a equal to angle d equal to 30 degrees and angle so therefore we can say that the triangle abc is congruent to triangle dcb by the rule of angle side angle angle side angle rule they are congruent now in this only there is a second question let us see that the second question here was was that our aob triangle in triangle aob and a triangle is congruent to the other triangle this call and doc doc now this you keep as a equation number 1 and r not you can write here by using cpct rule by using cpct rule we can write we can write that when a b c triangle is kunanga malli d b c triangle is kunanga so we can write here a b equal to d c a b equal to d c why it is useful this is equation number 1 now ikkada manam panikostadu so you take now in triangle aob and triangle cod so here in triangle aob here angle a is equal to angle b that is equal to 30 degrees angle next here aob no yes then here ab is equal to dc ab equal to dc from equation number 1 from the equation number 1 ab equal to dc and here we can write angle this b and here this angle and here this angle by angle sum property 
However, these two angles are equal because these two angles are vertically opposite angles. Suppose this angle is you assume like a 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So what happens in the AB AOB triangle? AOB triangle already be 90 degrees, so it will be 90 degrees. So already this is 90. This should be 90. So if the angle is 80 degrees here and 80 degrees here, okay, well 80 80 is another point. Because these are two are vertically opposite angles. You know two vertically opposite angles in the 80 plus 30, 110. 80 plus 1, 30, 110. And we got 70, 70 degrees are also done. So now we can write here angle ABO is equal to angle ADCO. So by angles of property, by angles some property. By angles of property, we can say that two triangle, these two angles are equal. Now in triangle AOB is converted to triangle DOC by the rule of angle side angle criteria rule. So again, what can we say here about so also identify the, the corresponding elements of the given reason for your answer. Yes. Now you can say here see as we discussed now as we discussed see here angle A equal to in triangle in triangle AOB and a triangle DOC. In these two triangles now already these two are vertically opposite angles. These two angles are by angles of property. These two angles are equal, these two angles are equal and these two angles are already given equal. So now here angle A equal to angle D that is equal to 30 degrees. Angle AOB is equal to angle DOC that is equal to vertically opposite angles and here angle ABO is equal to angle DCO angle DCO by angle sum property angles sum property by the angle sum property that means the next condition is that also identify the relation between the corresponding elements give the reason for your answer the corresponding element and the corresponding elements allow angle 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 and angle 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 by the angle 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 also these two triangles are congruent in the triangle AOB and triangle AOC all these three angles are equal all these three angles will be equal so here these three angles will be equal by congruent triangles congruent triangles in in congruent triangles the corresponding corresponding parts are equal I will write equal of the E round to 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 congruent triangles if you do AOB triangle or CU COD triangle or DOC triangle, you don't do triangles congruent together, and the row of number one, the corresponding parts are equal to the other side. The remaining are also congruent by angle, angle, angle. See, these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, angle criteria rule. In this triangle, AOB and COD, by the angle, angle criteria rule, we can write like this, the three angles will be equal. Angle A equal to angle D, angle O equal to angle O, angle B equal to here angle C. This will be happens because already these two triangles are congruent. So for the congruent triangles, the corresponding parts will be equal. Adhyas. So with this, we have completed this exercise 8.3. Practice once again. These are the two main rules we will be applying in this exercise. I hope you understood this exercise. Keep practice and keep learning children. Bye.